Oh, there's Robin. Good. Robin's half here. <clears throat> there she is. <laughs> okay, well, let's call the meeting to order. And we should begin with the approval of the minutes of the meeting of February 10th. Do I have a motion to approve? Uh, a motion to approve the minutes of February 10th. Thank you, Jenny. Is there a second? Second. Okay, so we need to do a roll call. Yeah. My, um, how do I keep losing my roll call? Okay, Julianne? Yes. Gigi, yes. Um, Cole? Yes. Matt? Yes. Jenny? Yes. Arthur? Yes. Sandra's not here. Robin? Yes. And Ro uh, Rachel? Yes. Great. Thank you so much. Um, well, I guess the most, imp I won't say the most important thing, but we have this request from the um, uh, Porter Huntington. I always get that wrong. Porter Phelps Huntington Museum to change the use of their grant. Susan Lisk does not think they'll be able to have their Wednesday afternoon performances. And she's outlined um, some use for the $1,000 grant uh, to use the funds to expand research, well, also the time, into local history, including enslaved and indigenous past of this site in conjunction with an underrepresented communities National Park Services grant and also to continue to organize, describe, and house new archival collections. And there, she'll hire up to six summer interns to take on the processing and research. And she'd like to use the grant to support basically this research and archival work. I think this is gonna be the first of a number of repurposed grants, sadly. Um, but are there any comments about this? Or actually we should start. Do I have a motion to approve this? Uh, I, well, I'm not even sure of the language, but I'll. Yes, approve the change of approved. purpose approved of the change. grant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And a I'll second. second it. Okay, so now we can discuss. <laughs> sounds any... great. I think it sounds amazing. Yeah. It's probably a better use of our money than the yeah. Wednesday tea. <laughs> yes. I'd like to have research money to do the very same thing. So yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. I, okay. Is there anybody who's feeling that it's not a good idea? Oh, Nandi, hi. We see you now. Um, no further discussion? Did they not have an outdoor program last year? No, they didn't. They didn't. They, okay. We they were actually they were about the only institution who said you know we're going broke we can't raise money through our normal fundraising uh can we just use it to support operations and yeah. that was covered by that massive do anything you want we want you to get your money um outlook so yeah this will be the second year without that program which i think will hurt them in the long run but i yeah. i think this is a great idea and um, so, okay. Are we ready to vote on it? So all in favor of the change in purpose of the grant, uh, Julianne, me, yes. Uh, Cole? Yes. Matt? Yes. Jenny? Yes. Arthur? Yes. Robin? Yes. Rachel? Yes. Great. Thank you. That that's terrific. Um, let's see. We have um, we need to talk about the GoFundMe campaign language. Yep. And so, Jenny, do you want to talk to this? You, I know you have to leave in a few minutes, but yeah. Um, so I set up a GoFundMe page today. Um, it's super easy to do. And um, when you go searching for um, us, you get a front page with an image. And right now there's a logo for us. Mm -hmm. And 
and then a blurb that explains what you're raising money for and a little bit about your organization and how it helps people. So the language that was sent to you is what it, that little blurb is. Mm -hmm. And um, so currently this is set up with my name to, and it, I don't have to attach an account to it yet, but um, anything that anybody puts into it goes into a hopper in, at GoFundMe. And then when you want to get the money out, you attach it to an account and then you can get the money out. So what I have, what I have ready to go is a, is a, a, a savings account that's attached to my checking account that's got nothing in it. It has $5 just to keep it open. Hmm. And so when it's time for that money to be given to the ACC or the town, I can pull that money, have them write me a check and, and have it written to the town of Amherst. Um, <clears throat> so you can do this. Anybody can open a GoFundMe, GoFundMe an account on behalf of anyone, any organization. We're not, we're not linked up as a 503C because we're not listed specifically. ACC isn't listed as a 503C. So our, our uh, um, tax number is a general number for the town. So it's not in there. But um, that money then then can go to um, the cultural council, so we can we can do that. That's my understanding. Yeah. Um, of course, there's nothing in it. It's not a, attached to an account at all at this point. Right. So um, it can okay. be taken down immediately, or we can keep it. And okay. Jenny, I just I want to confirm that you use the the ACC email address to set it I up. I did. I did. And. Um, so right now I'm going to have to get, so Cindy's going to give me the access to that. Um, I think it's also really easy just to, I, so I, I made a clever little, um, uh, password for it. So whoever takes over that when I'm gone can change the name on it and can, um, do whatever they need to. You know, my name doesn't have to stick to it and they can switch it over to their. Like our Facebook page designer who took off and left. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I won't do that to you. <laughs> yeah. Take the money and run. Right. So has this been approved by the town accounting department? Yeah, or I thought anybody? it already. I thought it was okay. So that's okay? They don't mind having the money go to a individual? No, that's oh. that's all been approved. The one piece that I wanted to bring up um, is that I was talking to Holly again and anybody who does donate um, the town will not send letters about tax deductions so the oh, okay. ACC has to handle that okay um, and and get all of that makes do sense. all that paperwork um, so, so that was the yeah. only piece yeah. are donations to the town tax deductible yes yes yeah. you, you would know Matt you Okay. And is there a threshold? Like if somebody gives you 50 cents, you got to send a letter and put a stamp on that or? <laughs> I email it to them. Hmm? Maybe we should email it to them. Yeah. No, it, it's, or is it like literally, you know, five bucks and everybody's got to get a letter just to. No. How would you do it if we passed a hat at like a Pecha Kucha night? We wouldn't know where the money's coming from. But they're probably not asking for a tax receipt either. They're just giving you. Right. They're just giving you a donation. I mean, when was the last time you asked for a donation after putting five dollars in the hat? Yeah. Well, yeah. One thing we did agree on, though, in terms of this, and if people make a bigger, you know, send a check or whatever, oh, is yeah. that we would just keep a list, um, and you know, once a year we would take that list and send out the letters. So there's no, like, there's no ongoing, you know, correspondence. On and do, do we, we do, we'll just have to find out what that letter looks like and do we have to give them a tax ID or anything like that? Or just, it's just a receipt saying. You know, for, for gifts of less than $200, I believe the threshold is uh, donors don't have to present very much in the way of okay. confirmation, but it's a courtesy to send out a thank yeah, you. No. No, and I'd say, actually, I know it's a lot, it is some work, um, but 
doing it close to the time that the gift comes in is really a good thing to do. Um, I know one organization in Amherst used to wait until the end of the fiscal year or something. And that really irked people. <laughs> it's hard to, to yeah. wait 10 months for a thank you for, yeah. Anyway, that it's- Are we talking about the thank you note or a tax receipt? Cause they're, I agree. they're, they're the two are the one same. and the same. You yeah. just say no goods or services. Oh, have been. well then I think, yeah, I think the thank you note needs to yeah. go out. Well but it has to have that reading. funny little sentence. Mm -hmm. I can, I have, Okay. some of those to copy from. Also, another reason for sending it close to the time of the donation is that the fiscal year and the tax year don't necessarily coincide, mm -hmm. right? Um, so the other, question, the other question I had, um, Jenny, or anybody who knows is, um, are there fees associated with this account? And if so, mm -hmm. like, how do, how, do they do, how do they charge fees or is it absorbed somehow on the back end? Um, Let me well, set I, they ask for people who are contributing money to contribute, and that's how they make their money. So they don't, the, the charity doesn't have any fees associated with it. You mean the GoFundMe page or whatever? There's no like administrative fee of whoever's processing the. That's right. That's right. They, they make their money on the tips. Yeah. Um, yeah, I paid a fee the last time I did a GoFundMe. Oh, aren't you good? To get your I money out? It's automatic, I think. If they ask you for it or. Yeah, a lot of places do now. Yeah. You prompt, but I'm on the page right now and you can just say zero. Oh, you can't say zero? Oh. <laughs> but then, <laughs> it comes from, then it probably comes from, then they'll probably deduct it from the recipient. No? No, no, that you, okay. you, you, you have make a, an additional gift. You know, you can add $2 to cover GoFundMe's costs is what they ask for those tips, I think. Arthur, do you have a? Oh, um, I wasn't raising my hand, but yeah, I do actually. As far as um, like thank you notes are concerned, what I'm one, I've never used GoFundMe, but like I'd imagine they probably have something where it's like automated. So when you make a donation, it just sends out a hopefully customizable thank you message. That'd be nice. Oh, look yes. at that. I was, I was thinking of that because then customize the language to yeah. automatically yeah. generate yeah. and then also to notify um, somebody at ACC that this donation mm -hmm. has been made, right? Whether yeah. it's a pop in so or- a notification. Yeah, that's turned right. on. So whenever okay. someone, yeah, sends it, it goes to the ACC email. Hey, I've got kind of just good information for everyone operating anything in town. It sounds like we're not gonna go the end of the year form letter route but everybody should be aware that Amherst College's um, print shop has a fantastic service for sending out bulk mail at really discounted prices. Even if you're just sending a hundred letters and they maintain your mailing list and they're incredibly reasonably priced and really easy to work with. So just everybody should be aware that service that's is available that's for, here. That's for paper mailing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. But, they, but they maintain and scrub your, your mailing list. So when people move, um, they do a great job and just everybody should know that even so you can just tell other people. So that's an Amherst College mailing service for anybody print who? Shop. Mm -hmm. Print shop. Mm -hmm. Amherst College print yep. shop. Yep. I didn't that know there would was be a print shop. Great, Cindy, for the Historical Society. You should absolutely be using them. <laughs> I don't know what else you're using, but they're fantastic. Yeah, the library uses that um, a lot. They're fantastic. Yeah, that's good to know. Prince oh, like UMass is closing. Hmm. Hmm. Great. Okay. Well, I will, I'll look into that some more. I started reading through things anyway, just because I was trying to figure out how the withdrawal works, but there's a lot of, you know, a uh, lot, lot of information about stuff. So I'll find out if there's anything that we need to know more. So do we, do we, does it matter to us as a council whether these acknowledgement and thank you notes are going out via email or on paper? Is that something we need to establish or not? I, I think it's easier just to do it by email. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think anything over, you know, $200 might rate a postage stamp. Yeah. <laughs> but the threshold. 
you know, I think, you know, but. Well, I, I think, think we should, it would be good to, to know what we're going to do because like, yep. if it goes out by email, people can print it out themselves. Yeah, right, exactly. They needed it, so. Yeah, that's precisely. Good. And that's, that really has become the norm with donations. Do you want to just see much. what we get, you know, for getting larger donations, we can case by case, like if it sure. does, yeah. I mean, problems we would like to have. Yeah. I, I wonder if, um, Jenny, in the, in the letter or the, the blurb, yep. um, providing additional funding for services to improve accessibility is, I mean, Robin, do you have any, I mean, I think that should be beefed up because in a way that's one of the things that started this and exactly. if, if anyone yeah. wants, huh? Yeah, we could emphasize yeah, I mean, that more. I mean, you know, to provide signing services or closed captioning. I mean, I, I think some concrete ideas might make it more persuasive. Okay, so where are people going to see this? Um, to then donate. So we are going to have to send it out to people. We're going to have to share this oh, around. So. We can put it on Facebook, but yep. yeah, it's no one is going to see it unless they go to the site and they they look, go looking for it at this point. Um, our state rep would be happy to put this out too. To put this out. Oh, Mindy. Mindy Dom. Yep. Okay. She posted about it on Facebook, and I can tag her and Joe Comerford, maybe. Yeah. Great. They um, just sent me emails about uh, donations that I think um, members here did, and there's an option to send a thank you right from that email. Oh, okay. Um, oh, so perfect. I'll get I'll get Jenny hooked up to to that email account so you can manage all of that. Okay. Ooh, thank you. Okay. Um, one thing I'll say is that it does say fundraiser by Jenny and yeah. it be changed <laughs> over to... Um, we could say the council. Yeah. Uh, be, be yeah. <laughs> For your sake, Jenny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and people might think it's one of these, oh, I'm stuck abroad and I need $5,000 <laughs> in my checking account immediately. Right. Also, I think you should have the MCC logo on this. Okay. I can put both. Yeah, I really, I, I think we should. And add MCC logo. See, I'm even wearing their colors tonight. I have teal <laughs> and coral. <laughs> do, we, do we have permission to use that freely? Yeah, we not yeah. only have permission, we are obligated. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, okay. yeah. Yeah, okay, good. I had, I had one other question for the group, Gigi, uh, if we're ready to move on. Um, well, are we all set on this? I think this is great. And thank you, um, Jenny for, and Cindy well, for looking into this. And the, the accessibility subcommittee put language together yep. and we can go back and we can beef up that section about accessibility and then it's good from there, do you think? Yep. Oh, I think, yeah, I think it's great. Oh, the name and everything. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I think it's great. Thank you so much, Jenny, for getting it going and Cindy. For, you're, you're very for, welcome. And and every, Leah and others really got the language. Yeah, nice. Started, so I think it's great. And, and this did is a great I've, job. I've been harassing people for months now to get this thing up and running. And <laughs> thank you for your patience and listening and and for uh, for getting it there. I, I'm I'm excited because as the accessibility work starts to roll out and we start thinking about you know. Um, another go, <laughs> another go at some press attention and, and other things, you know, we should, we should be doing this. Right. My, my question for the group um, is, uh, <laughs> wait a minute, I, it's, I, it slipped out of my mind, but it, it was a good one. So <laughs> bear with me for a second. Relax. We're doing, relax. We're while, doing while you're, why are you trying to remember your question, Matt? I was just curious whether in the language or in the, as, as the um, page appears right now, is there a for inquiries contact? Um, 
It's a good idea. Link yeah. or, or somebody's email or I don't know if I, it appears anyway, but um, just so should, it, it, should it use the Google email address that we have, yes. which means it goes to Cindy? Yeah, yeah. it'll it is forwarded to me. It's the town email. Right. Um, and I'm, I'm going to hook up uh, Jenny so that she can right. um, get into Perfect. it. And any, I mean, I can, anybody who wants to get in, I can let anybody in um, to it. And then the other thing I just wanted to quickly mention is that um, I'm still waiting for permission to um, put a link to it from the town's Agricultural Council website. Um, but as soon as that goes through, I'll, I'll put the link up um, right. there as well. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, Jenny's going to have to leave. So she's taken the first half of the meeting minutes. <laughs> and your note taker is going to go away too. So, um, so I've got the notes up to now. Okay. Um, I also, I wanted to tell you that I'm going to the opening um, for the artifacts uh, at the end of a decade show that, that you all funded, that we all funded. And <clears throat> I looked through, there's both an in-person, which of course no one, unless you're on campus can see, um, there's a physical show. And then there's an online tour that's really great. So the tour actually walks you physically through the space. And okay. then the, the curators have gone art piece by art piece by art piece and put little, in bits of information, videos, music links, everything. It's just, it, it took me probably an hour to go through the whole thing. Wow. Just full of really great information. So, was that was that part added because of the pandemic, Jenny? We, yes, it was. Um, this show was supposed to open last spring, but it got shut down. You know, we got it like right. halfway installed and then we had to shut it down. So they had all this extra time and put this, the two curators who are two graduate students, they put this virtual tour together and it's just, it's so great. And they worked with the, the editor who put this, this portfolio together in New York, who was also doing something similar. So he was able to give them more videos, um, actual interviews from artists. So Betsy Johnson, who's mm -hmm. a very famous designer, yeah is interviewed and she, she gives a piece. There's a, there's a really old um, clip of, uh, of a fashion show from 1981 that is just so 1981. Oh, cool. Tell you, it's really rough and everything, but it's just, it's, it's wild. It just feels like you're in a, in a nightclub in, in New York in 1981. So. I remember my question before you leave, Jenny. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, would you send a link to that though? That sounds awesome. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. It's it's really. Uh, can we can we send a reminder out to the awardees with a deadline to fill out the survey because we've had two people complete it, and uh -huh. we didn't put a deadline on that. Right. Um, as soon as we get um, our annual report completed, we can pull out the email addresses that we need. We can't do that until that's done, which is depending on Holly, but well, I think it's all set. Yeah, I'll talk to you about it. She needs information. Okay, so, you know what we're gonna do is take one quick vote right now, which is to transfer the 5,000, what, how much was it, Robin? 5,055, something like that. So it's um, yeah, not a whole other that change. It's fine. Section, yeah. but the 2019 money. Yep. Yes. Leftover. Okay. So could I have a motion to transfer the leftover money from fiscal year 2019 to the current budget? So moved. Oh. Thank you. Do I have a second? Second. Yeah. Second. <laughs> uh, this allows us to spend that 5,000 plus. Yep. And it brings us, it means that the everything will balance and then we can finish the annual report and oh, then we can okay. get the addresses, okay? Okay. That's why we need, but I think we need an official vote. Okay, you wanna, yeah. So we'll all in favor, uh, Julianne. Yes. 
Me, yes. Uh, Cole? Yes. Matt? Yes. Jenny? Yes. Arthur? Yes. Robin? Yes. And Rachel? Yes, and just quickly, um, the um, accessibility, I mean, the virtual component also asks the accessibility criteria, doesn't it? I mean, this is kind of a separate discussion, but I was just wanted to mention that before Jenny left. It does. It does. Right. And the okay. site is accessible. It yeah, has, exactly. Right. It has yes. alt links on the images with descriptions. So, and, and also because of the virtual format makes it more accessible in other yes. ways. Yeah. Right. Okay. I have Thank more you. information about that too, but I, I'll sh I can share that with the accessibility committee because okay. UMass is doing that. We have somebody in our, in the fine arts center that does that for us, which is awesome. Thank you. Okay. Question All right. The, oh, I'm I was going to, I'm going to run away. If that's okay, okay. I'll take, I'll take notes. And have when a great you... show. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Jenny. Okay. Leia. Um, I was linked as a contact person for one of the accessibility people reaching out to us, um, one of the grantees. And I was wondering hey, if I'm supposed to reach out first or if we're just waiting for people to reach out with questions and then answering the questions. So I, I just did that today. We only had those two come in and I hadn't done anything. And I thought, well, we're meeting and I don't wanna be embarrassed in front of everybody. So I'm gonna make the, make the outreach now. Um, I think we can hold off a little bit on on that until we get more more names in there. But I figured let's just start making initial contacts and see if they ask us any questions. Okay, so I'll wait. Thank you. But I think we should yeah. probably meet. The subcommittee should meet again. You know, after the reminder goes out, once we have a more full list of um, grantees. Yeah. The um, so the annual report is due on March first. So perfect, perfect. we'll get that list early next week okay so maybe we tentatively want to i don't know we can so, we can do it by email figuring out a date for the next subcommittee but uh, right and when i send out well do you want to would someone on the accessibility committee like to send out the message to the grantees yeah yeah we'd be happy to okay so i'll send you the list and then you can get your own deadline and um, get the right contacts to return it to, et cetera. Yeah, that'd be great. Cause then we can, we can kind of set up our next meeting yeah. shortly after that deadline and we can sort of, it's, right. it's neat. It's, it's just cool to have anybody responding and you know, yeah, it's... starting the conversation. Well, I watched another program from Historic Deerfield last night and it was just great to you know see the closed captioning. Yeah. And, oh yeah, I watch everything with closed captioning if I can. It's, it's yeah. so we watch television with closed captioning. So <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Robin, um, do you, do you sure? have anything else to report from the accessibility committee? Like Matt was asking something. Oh, I was just saying that the website that Robin shared is so cool. I mean, it really. It's, oh, the realtors. Fun. Yeah. Well, right, but that she the whole suite of yeah. different accessibility ways Options. of reading text etc and all of it was pretty yeah it's, it's That's, pretty great it's really well cool. done um yeah I, I think no we, i mean we're just we're just kind of getting our our thoughts together for the actual you know work with the artists um right and 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 collecting resources too i think that's something we're doing now yes. um we, we kind of talked about whether this subcommittee would need to continue to exist as a, but Cindy confirmed that we have to treat it like an, an open meeting. Unfortunately, I don't know why I asked, but I asked. And then yeah. you know, at, when you ask a question, you're gonna get an answer. Yep. Um, so, but that's, that's okay. Um, so I, I think we'll, we'll continue to need to meet for, for a couple of months just to make sure that we are able to keep the ball moving forward. Um, but uh, I, I guess the one thing that the general group might want to know is that we did put a question in the survey about if folks would be interested in some kind of a, a convening around accessibility towards, you know, towards the end of this calendar year or next year. And mm -hmm. um, so far people are, you know, the two people who answered both said, you know, either yes or tell me more. Um, we have no idea, <laughs> literally no idea what that would be other than right. 
it, I mean, frankly, if we, if we put it far enough in the future, they, unbeknownst to them, can be the ones who, you know, share their experiences with doing the work. So, um, you know, it's, it, I think it's a lot, a lot of sort of exploring what's possible is what we're doing. Well, it might be a good, um, you know, who knows if we'll be ever able to meet again <laughs> publicly. I'm getting very depressed, oh. but anyway, we'll see. Um, but it would be a good, you know, good afternoon program or early evening program, um, you know, at the library just to get people, just to get the people who receive the grants together to talk about it and have one or two representatives of, you know, vendors to come and talk about what's possible and yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, and we exciting. could get other, other groups to right. come and do this too. I mean, not just, yeah. right. Um, yeah, that, that reminds me of the other question that I wanted to ask Robin um, or, or anybody, but Robin had mentioned wanting to reach out to the disability access committee. And yeah. maybe, maybe we want to invite one of them to come to our next subcommittee meeting, because the one thing that nags at me is that we, uh, we're doing this work, but we, you know, we really want the disability community to be, yeah, you know, well represented in the, you know, in the work as early as possible. Right. Okay. Well, I'll I'll contact that person and see what's going on because one of the other things is like the uh, the website that I sent or the or the website that she uses really the town should be using. Which what it does is it allows the website itself to be accessible on all different levels, from uh, seizure protection to um, larger print to adjusting the color of the print. I mean, there are just so many options, and um, you know, I think town a town website should be accessible. You're so right. Um, and we're not so, the ones to bring that message. They are. So that's a really good point. Yeah, and it, it's the message. So and it's like Gigi and I are on the um, cultural district. And there's going to be, um, hopefully, a, a concert in June and also all sorts of exhibits of all these artists who were part of a contest. And um, so I brought up that the concert needs to be signed and everybody was, yeah, it does. And then the window exhibits are also going to, you, you'll be able to go to a website and they will all be described. So that's, and so the cultural district is, is the BID and, or at least this one. No, and the, it's, it's not, it's, uh, there are, the, the bid is the uh, kind of contracting agency right. that runs it, runs the finances. Right. So it's, so never... it's an MCC project. Right. And, but, um, uh, but this project got... is, was the bid and the chamber? No, it's the no, ACCD. It's just the AC. Okay. All right. I thought it was. So, um, so this is it. And also along that line, um, I didn't know if our high schoolers were interested in assisting in stage managing it. Oh, what a good idea. I don't know if any of you have any of that experience or if you would like to learn stagecraft. Um, I have a conflict, so Anne Tweedy, who's absolutely wonderful, will be stage managing it. Oh, so, that's awesome. that's so you can't come on the, you won't be there in June? Not on the 26th. I have a virtual wedding. Oh, if we have a rain date and it's the next day, which was the original day, right? Yeah, yeah. I I can do it. I, yeah. I know I have an actual conflict. I'm amazed. Which that is would be great um, if we could get Nandi and Leah and Sydney to help. If if you guys are interested in doing that or learning it or whatever, and it's a few months away, so yeah. But uh, I just thought. I mean, I it's. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely something that, you know, you need to do in order to learn it. Or you could go to college and get a degree in it, actually. But I, I think just doing it is the way to learn it, so. That's really cool. 
Yeah. I'll need to see if it interferes with dance, but I definitely check it out. It's yeah, it would June. be like a Saturday afternoon, June 26th. And it will be later in the afternoon because we're going to do it after uh, the farmer's market. Right. And everything is, you know, right. six feet apart and all of that. So, yeah, we'll um, um, send out a message to the three of you. And actually, I mean, anyone can volunteer and anybody for this else event. To... Actually, they do yeah. need help. And if yeah. you want, if you're looking for more high school people, I could try to put that like on my story. I don't know if, because oh. if it's not government, I don't know if I'd be allowed to do that, but to try to reach out to other people who might be interested. I actually yeah. know a few people that do stagecraft for the school plays. I think they Yeah, exactly. I, yeah, that I do know that a lot of high school students have worked in that or want There's to. There's a learn, so. huge like tech community at, um, Amherst, like there's almost more techies than actual like actors. Mm -hmm. Huh? Really? Huh. Yeah, it's really crazy. Huh. Well, strange. Yeah, it's theater though. I mean, if you're in theater, you're in theater. So, yes, um, you're here. <laughs> you know, I, so. Rachel, do you have a question? I have about a question. This? Actually, is whether or not we have a. Um, target time frame or date to determine how to spend the money we've just voted on accessibility measures like is it is it what i mean is it is it going to be um project or organization specific like do we need to vote on individual grants for accessibility purposes or is it just kind of this lump sum we're going to use and we don't need to vote separately on how it's going to be used for specific programs or events or so I just I'm just raising the general question as to whether or not there is a time frame for that um, or a format that's already been determined in case I've missed something in the past. I don't we, think yeah we I mean we voted the funds for accessibility generally at our last meeting so I don't right. believe there's any any need for further votes on that. Uh, so just however we choose to like okay yeah i mean i think the simple and uh, the thought was that the uh acc or the uh would take care of the bookkeeping end so that the applicant wouldn't have to pay the vendor that we would take care of that through so, so what, what is the approval process for getting the accessibility measures? Is it just kind of people have an initiative, like I wanna do this and then we just give them the money to do that? Yep. Is that no, the process? Rachel, we, we um, the subcommittee will work with each individual artist. Um, the way that we're gathering their information is through a survey. And so, you know, we ask them first, which type of accessibility support um, are you interested in? And we have a list of vendors and hourly rates that, that we've kind of found on the back end. And so they, we asked them to start the conversation. What, you know, what supports do you think might be appropriate? Um, just with the two that came in, you know, one of them seemed very on, on the nose. The other one, I think maybe didn't quite understand, you know, how this, how the kinds of supports would work. So in that case, um, Leah happens to be the sort of person, we, we just decided that we would sort of case manage individually um, as they came in. But so like the, the person who's going to liaise with that artist will say to him, you know, um, we're glad you're doing this Zoom presentation. Um, it's something that might benefit from sign language interpreting or, you know, one of our other services. Um, you know, once that artist gets up, gets us a date and time, we will then, we, meaning ACC people, will reach out to the interpreting service and give them the date and the time. Um, and, and set up the, the payment, you know, invoicing through the, ultimately it's gonna go through the town of course, but, mm -hmm. but um, you know, we'll be the intermediary in terms of getting that invoice. Um, and so the artist, we did talk about, you know, giving the artist extra money, Mina, Kim suggested giving the artist extra money to do, um, to do it on their, on their end, which maybe someday in the future, we can talk about that as, as, you know, a way that they can simply put that into their request and then we can give it to them. But for this first year where we're so unsure of ourselves, we felt it was best 
I mean, frankly, we can get more bang for the buck if we have eight people who are doing, you know, the same kind of service. We can get a we can get an arrangement with some of these vendors to do it that way. Um, so, I mean, I think I think in answer to your question, the the ACC gave us this sort of general approval to use that initial twenty five hundred um, as we as you know as we best could see fit as a subcommittee. Um, without having to kind of come back to the full council for each for each decision. Okay, so basically the subcommittee will be the ones to determine how much each applicant who's interested in providing accessibility gets, right, from that. Well, from the that applicant doesn't amount. provide the accessibility. We have, you know, we the subcommittee will use vendors and pay vendors to provide supports to to the artists. Right, so so that so it will be up to the subcommittee, but that, then I guess that then the subcommittee needs to continue to. Yeah, you, yeah, you can't through, back out after the, two through months. the um, <laughs> grant cycle. Then I guess that's the implication, right? Well, yeah. I mean, it's uh, if, if if what you're suggesting is that we need to continue to meet, yes, and and like I said, once we have that once we have that survey out and the deadline's closed, the subcommittee will will meet. Yeah, I see. I was just curious what the, you know, what the process is, because I'm not on the subcommittee. So thank you for explaining that. And I think, yeah, that, of course. Yeah, and I think um, in the future, I think what we'll uh, try to work with Mina and uh, Linda Simmons, who's the head of the local cultural council, I uh, think they just need to add a line on their application. Right. For accessibility funding and that should go to all of the councils not just us right yeah i mean that's that's really the the dream is, yeah. is to start a larger you know larger conversation the, about it the, the challenge still still lies in terms of like you know an individual artist may not may just not have the you know resources or may not just may not know where to go so right. you know i think we'll still continue need, to need to bridge people towards resources in future years but but I agree completely. Jen. It's it's a it's a first a first step, and then and then to actually ask them, you know, on next year's grant cycle, um, if and when they're they're willing to do that, I think would be a, a an amazing step. Um, I have to go. <laughs> okay. Nice to see you. Bye. 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 Yeah. Um, I think our high schoolers are more are busier have, than they have busier lives. <laughs> you better believe they're busy. <laughs> so I think um, for the time being, we're pretty well set. We'll get I'll get the list to Matt. He can send out the notice uh, with a good deadline, and then they can start allocating away. Okay. So when um, I contact the towns disability access officer or whatever the person's called. Um, what should I talk to this person about? Uh, coming to our next meeting and yeah. just working with them in terms of- Yeah, working come to with the us? subcommittee. Yeah, sure. Okay. Because I feel like I feel like it would be better if we did this sooner because I don't, I'm worried if we get into something where we have like this thing and then someone comes along and is like, it might be more helpful to do it this way. I don't want to have gone too far and then have to like undo stuff. Yeah. Agreed, agreed. And that's why, so we're gonna have the annual report on March 1st, yep. and we'll have the list by, you know, by then. Maybe we can give people a, a two, you know, a one week deadline, 10 day deadline or something right. after that. So we could set the deadline at March 12th and plan to have our subcommittee meet the week of the 15th. Um, and, and I, you know, I, I really think having the, the town's disability access group weigh in, you know, would be, would be well, <laughs> I, I agree. I mean, you know, this is, this right. is their area of expertise. I'm sure they'd be thrilled to hear that we're doing it. Yeah. Oh, I think so. And I think though the convert, there should be a separate conversation and not necessarily at the disability or the accessibility committee's, uh, request, but, um, Robin sharing that uh, again back to the realtors website with our with the Amherst website manager, 
Yeah, well, I, yeah. Brianna Serdney, I think her name is. Oh, um, okay. Does she decide what? No, but she should know, she should see I this and see it... what a great thing it is. And then let her, let her deal with, um, getting the you know, $2, how, to, how, to, how to boot up the, how to, how to improve the, uh, website. Yeah. I, I don't think that's Tim. just, just dump it into her lap. And okay, so her it's the webmaster and I'll send her? you her email. Okay. Okay. We don't okay. need to do that now. And Matt, do you have you lined up uh, vendors like I need to find the signers for this concert? I was actually going to contact um, Northampton First Night to see who they used and Klondike, which is sound there in Greenfield, who I've just I've worked um festivals and stuff where they do the sound and they're also signers and that they may have a a contact just to start with do you, yeah, do you so line, there are also services that place signers although what i've seen so far is in there for like medical and hospitals that you call them not for this but there's a lot of stuff out there yeah my recommendation for signing is um if it's a if it's spoken only to go through the Mass Commission for the Deaf because they will immediately steer you towards your local people. So it's kind of, and, and you'll probably have the best, you know, some kind of a state rate probably. So kind of the best bang for the buck. For the musical thing, I did include a link to what I think is probably the best um, resource I could find. It's called the Learning Center for the Deaf, Learning Center for the Deaf. And I'll send you the link, Robin. Um, but they were wonderful when I reached out to them, they immediately responded and said, we have five or six people who specialize in musical interpretation. Oh, good. Uh, I, I just because, I really, I was very- That is a performance on its own. It really is. And, and it can be really beautiful. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, like we said last time, I mean, the goal is to, it's like to us, it's a performance, but they feel that they're purely interpreting, you know? So yeah. it's such an interesting, um, I don't know what, science, art, somewhere between the two, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But I, I'll send that to you, Robin. Okay. okay. Well, it sounds like this is getting off to a wonderful start, and I just want to thank you all for doing doing this. Is yeah. there any other new business we need to discuss? Well, now that the awards are out, you know, we do continue to talk about the more the broader artist showcase, and we don't need to talk about it right now, but yeah, put that on the agenda for our next meeting. Absolutely, that'll be great. Are we going to meet again? Oh, we yeah. will meet again. Probably late March. Is Thursday night good for people or not? It's not so no. great for the dancers, is it? Is five o'clock better than five thirty? Six o'clock is so much better for me if we can if we can do six. Six? I can do six. Okay, we could do, I can six. do six. Cindy, can you do six? So we're looking at Thursday, okay. March 25th. Six p.m. At 6 p.m. And the main topic will be the, um, the showcase. What is the showcase? I... It's, it's gonna be our grantees. Robin, we need to kind of get it separate from what the ACCD is doing. Right. So it's ours. And I think we should do it later in the summer so that it doesn't get put under the rug with the cultural. Oh, it's great. District. I just okay. somehow missed that we were doing this, but yeah, right. I think later is better. I'm yeah. not sure the June 25th yeah. is gonna and happen. And we'll see, and we'll see how the 25th <laughs> transpires. Yeah, but so yeah. we'll talk about that next time and that gives Ooh. us more than enough time. Okay. So That's at the great. same time, um, when we talk about that next time, is it okay to just give some feedback about how the um, assessment process went this time in terms of like the- mm -hmm. you know, Oh, right, we need to talk about the form. Yeah, just yeah. because- Absolutely. Um, I, I would love to be able to, I don't know if Julianne's available, but like, you know, um, when we get to that point, maybe come up with something um, that would be, even easier for people to use because I created a template blind, basically. Yeah, no, um, I think it was, it was good. But, 
but um, yeah. you know, so now that um, we've all been through at least once, um, right. I would love to get people's input on how to create a more comprehensive template going forward. So I don't know if that's appropriate for the March meeting too. Yeah, no, that'll be fine. Okay, good. I want we'll to apologize that I did not send anything to Pecha Kucha in, in for the love thing on oh, February 20th. They well, didn't Gigi, get my were, radishes. I did. I only got yours. And for a moment, I thought, really oh, I'll just put stuff together from my own phone and yeah, GVs. And then I, um, Brian, I, I went I through my entire photo library and I just didn't <laughs> oh, no. have anything I wanted. I really did put some time into it. Yeah. I just couldn't. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm, I I'm cut so up, I sliced my favorite so lavender beautiful. radishes and made a heart out of it. <laughs> lavender radishes. That's awesome. Well, and the other thing was the last wow. thing I wanted to do was put any more pressure on Gigi while she was wrapping up the book. But yeah, I mean, um, yeah. I did my best. Next I time. got you three things, you, actually. You were great. I, yeah, you were, you know, a, a large chunk of the presentation. That, but I didn't think the rest of it should just be me. Yeah. So. It's okay. It's Leah, okay. Did you do the story? Speaking of, of homework assignments did we do the story on instagram which story which story like you were going to do an instagram story with those photos that we sent you i was going to we got like i think half the photos i can text sydney about it and we could try to get together and just using what we have That'd we have the blurbs and the photos yeah, because yeah, we can to. try to get those out before we start announcing grants uh, like publicly online. Yep. Yeah, that's right. The timing is actually better to wait. So that's, that's fine. I'm just curious because I was like, oh, wait a minute. I did do some, I did some homework, just not all of it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, did then, I did mine. And, you and then once, um, sorry, once Matt's photo goes out in, on Instagram, we're going to get a lot of grants. That's, on I'm, I'm really trying to, trying to turn people <laughs> away, actually. That's the goal. Yeah, that'll be great. Okay. Thank you. So will adjourn? Yes. Okay. Thank you all for coming. We'll be in touch. And I'm going to send to you everyone. a reminder to um, do your uh, online training for conflict of interest, which- Oh, shoot. I oh, it is thrilling. It is thrilling. That. It takes about an hour. Yeah. I it's did it, but I, um, I don't know how to do the print thing, but I can figure that out. And oh. you can't and you can't work ahead. You have to go through all the steps. Oh, what I did was um I uh took a photo of the certificate and then I just forwarded it to our oh good whoever it was supposed to be forwarded yep, to to the town clerk. Yeah. Oh look so. at the dog. Aw. Yeah, you oh. can the heart. Sweetheart. Yeah, Leah, just oh, yeah. save it as a PDF and then email it in. That's probably yeah. okay, I'll do that. to do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Bye. everyone. Okay, we're all going to adjourn. I'm not going to do a roll call vote. Everyone. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Take care. So Gigi, care. I probably will. Yeah. Okay. I'm still here. Um, so Holly, I have to get my